Christina Aguilera's new album, Lotus, comes out on November 13th, and here are five things that you need to know about it. One, Christina is into flower power. Here she is explaining why she chose Lotus as the title. That sort of re resonates with me at a time in my life where it's about celebration and freedom and embracing uh, myself artistically, creatively. It's just a, a, a time of celebration and being happy and comfortable uh, with the woman that I've, I've grown into. Now, I'm more of a gardenia myself. It's white, it prefers warm climates, it smells fantastic. What kind of flower are you? Let us know in the comments. Two, Christina and Taylor Swift have more in common than you might think. Christina enlisted the help of Swedish hitmakers Max Martin and Shellback to co-write and co-produce, just like T-Swift did for Red. They worked on two tracks from Lotus, including its first single, Your Body, and uh, with their help, Taylor Swift sold more than one million copies in Red's first week. And I mean, even a quarter of that would be awesome news for Christina. Three, the album contains two collaborations from fellow coaches on The Voice. CeeLo Green contributed vocals to the song Make the World Move, and Blake Shelton contributed to the album's final track, Just a Fool. Now, there's no sign of Adam Levine, but as a wise loaf of meat once said, two out of three ain't bad. I'm referring to Meatloaf. He's a singer. Four, Christina is a fan of M83. The aptly named opening track, Lotus Intro, contains a sample of Midnight City. And I mean, who doesn't like that song? You just can't beat a good old sax solo. And five, she's taking a page out of her own past, describing her song Army of Me as, quote, Fighter 2.0. She told Billboard, There is a new generation of fans from a younger demographic that might not have been with me all the way, but that watch me on the show now. I feel like every generation should be able to enjoy and have their piece of fighter within. Now, unfortunately for rock fans, Dave Navarro is not playing guitar on Army of Me. After stumbling a bit with her last album, Bionic, do you believe that Lotus will return Christina to pop stardom? Let us know in the comments below. And click the like button and subscribe. That's not what a sax sounds like.